Hello, buddy. Hi, good evening, Aiders. If you don't listen to our show, you might have a bonus hole. Is that what they want? Probably if you Is that what they want? Yes, sir. There might be a little bit of misguiding going on there. A little misinformation yeah. going on there. Maybe a little, uh... Wanna say hi? Maybe a little bit, uh... Come here. Oh, who do we have here? Hello, little one. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm jealous. Now I'm going to share somebody. Yeah. Come here, you. Come here. That's how pale hey, I am. Wake up. <laughs> Come here, Spot. Come here. Come here, dog. Look at you. Come here. Look at the camera. Oh. Yeah. Look, at, look, it's a dog. It's a dog. He's a little dog. <laughs> Hey, look at that dog. <laughs> <laughs> you say hi, Justin. Hi, Justin. He's, he's my hello. He's my bunker dog. Can you give me a can hug she you see? Can she? Yeah. Can she oh. see my pig? Can you see the pig? Yeah, the pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's a space pig. Space. pig. So, I bought a, I bought a fishing pole like a year ago, right? And I was using it. It was a heavy rod. i have been using it for flipping uh, heavy tungsten weight with a flipping hook for, like, for punching mats, right? You know, big floating, floating grass mats. You punch through them, trying to catch bass that are hiding there. And uh, I went out a few weeks ago with another iron worker friend of ours, um, and I was punching mats, and the reel about tore off. And I was like, oh shit, what am I going to do now, you know? So I went through a whole fiasco trying to find the, get the receipt for it. And uh, finally got a receipt. Huh? Oh. Come here. Hello, dog. Oh, dog. <laughs> I'm being shy. I'm being shy. Okay. So the real seat, like the the nut that holds the reel onto the uh, uh, you know onto the rod, right, was cracked or stripped or something. So I finally got the receipt. Got a hold of the manufacturer. It had been less than a year since I bought it, just by like a week or two. It was a hundred fifty dollar rod. So, I told them I sent them pictures and video of what was going on with it. So, they shipped me a new one. I had to pay for shipping. It was $25, which isn't terrible. It's not, you know, I, I, I can do, I can handle that. Holy and shit. I asked them, I said, what, what is going on there? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I almost had a seizure. <laughs> Dude, I thought, I, thought, I thought my bunker, I thought my bunker was blowing up. <laughs> the Russians are coming. The Vladimir Putin yeah, has found you. No, it's funny. And Drini, Drini has that. found you. <laughs> He's keeping his shoes He's my translator. Dry. He's my translator. He's my, uh, 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 oh, what was it? What's that, what's that guy's name? Oh, uh, it'll come to me. But anyway, so I get this new rod, and they asked me, I said, well, what do you want me to do with the other one? You want me to ship it back? And they said, no, just keep it for parts. And I'm thinking, I'm like, what? What parts are on a fucking fishbowl? <laughs> you know, when I got to unwrap it and take the guides off, you know, it's retarded, right? So, you know, what I did was I took an older reel that I won't mind not being able to put it other places, and I put it in the reel seat. I put a little plumber's tape around where the thing goes down, and I, I was able to get it just tight enough. So, I, and I filled that motherfucker with two part epoxy. <laughs> So now it's fixed. It's a fixed, <laughs> it's, fixed. it's fixed. It's fixed permanently. It is a fixed Permanent reel fixture. and a fixed rod. So now, if the reel ever goes to shit, 
I may be able to cut it out. Probably not. It's probably done for at that point. And just but yeah, right. but I did get a new rod, and now I can actually use that for a certain purpose. Now I got two of the same rods that I can use for two different things, with different reels, obviously. But yeah, I was able to fix it because I'm I'm a can I'm a capable. What is it? I'm, I'm resourceful. Yeah. I was able to fix it. Yeah. Without anybody's See, help. Yeah, that's something that people don't even fucking understand these days, how to be resourceful in situations where if you want to keep reusing something or you want to build something yourself with your own fucking two hands, yeah. there's ways to build things. Like, when my wife asked me to do something or build something, I, I literally go out and I, I got a scrap pile out my behind my pole barn. I got wood and stuff like that and metal, and I'm like, I have a welder, and I have screws, I have drill bits. I can build things. I have a lathe. Jesus Christ, I have a wood lathe. If I don't have the things to do it, I, I, will, I will find a way. I, but I will have an idea. I will make a plane, and I will put it in action. It's like my uh, my TV. <clears throat> my TV I have in my garage. I don't have a mount at the time to mount my TV on my mm -hmm. wall in my garage. But I had angle iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a fully built mount in my garage. Pivots and everything. <laughs> built it. Yeah, built it out of angle iron. Why not? Built it with these. Yeah. These. <laughs> these fucked up looking rough hands. Dude, I shook a guy's hand at work the other day and it felt like I was grabbing a wet piece of pizza dough. That's how I felt. I have a... <laughs> <laughs> He does not have the strongest of handshakes. He's soft. He's soft like that. But, uh, as I know, so I got a, I got a he's new... Softer. He's softer than baby shit. I got a new... <laughs> liquid. Um, you got a new liquid? No, that's that's what the newborn poops is liquid. It's, oh, yeah, that's baby poop. It's uh, uh, like when I wake up in the morning and like she does like the wake up because uh, I woke up. It's I forgot you got a baby. Uh, 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 and I'm like brushing my teeth like four o'clock in the morning, going, "Have fun with that, honey." I'm going oh, to work. To do it. <laughs> yeah. That's the, it's my job. My job's to make sure this roof's over top for head, or power's there, bills are paid. It's my job. Your job is to keep children alive. It's a very important job. It's actually more important than my job. Mine actually just has <laughs> money involved into it. That's all. Money. Mine is money. nowhere nearly as important as the job of a mother. Money, money is not even real. Huh? Money's not even real. It's not going to be here soon. So anyway, um, um, so I got an apprentice. I got a new employee working for me now. I'm you know, so introductions, is. shake the hands, and I got basically oh, what God. is uh, what I can describe is uh, you know, like the uh, the the stretchies, the, the, like the stretch <laughs> Steves, you know, like the fucking stretch Armstrong. Yeah, like the stretch Armstrong. Like, yeah. you were to give that a handshake. Oh, yeah, so it was just like, it was just like, it was <laughs> flesh. It's like flesh. Yeah. With, I feel like I might it's break like it. If you, if, took, if you took that sand, if you took that sand, that fucking, you could like moldable sand. Yeah. That foamy, foamy sand. Yeah, like that's foam, how it felt. And you filled the like, glove, you filled the glove with it. <laughs> I was like, she gave me a handshake. I was like, there, I did my firm handshake. Cause, dude, I'm I'm a big dude. Like, fucking, you didn't give me a firm handshake. I'm a man. Yeah. That's how it is. You know, when somebody out handshakes yeah, yeah, me, I, I immediately, when somebody puts pressure on my hand, like, you know, first meeting somebody and they give mm -hmm. me a good pressured handshake, I'm like, respect. You know what I don't like? It, it happened to me today. I was introduced to a new guy. He squeezed the hand before I was locked in. And he squeezed oh, my squeeze fingers. your fingers! Oh. <laughs> I made him. I made him. I said, "No, no, no!" I said, "Let's try that again." <laughs> I made him retry. Dude, that's said, like, no, that's no, like a power it. move. That's a one hundred percent a power move. Said, no. When he grabs yeah, your hand, no. he I just said, he tried to catch you off don't guard. Squeeze yeah, my fingers. No. no, I told him no. No, said, we shake like men. We're gonna reshake. 
I'm gonna shoot <laughs> reshake, reshake like a man. Wait till my hand's yeah, fully locked true. in. Yeah, because the, there's that yeah, point. Yeah, you gotta touch when the you, plate. Yeah, yeah, scissors, when, scissors, yeah, scissors, yeah scissors. when your thumbs, when the thumbs touch, there, and then you get the full wrap. That's when you shake. If you, if you go to arm wrestle somebody, you don't grab. Yeah, you don't like grab. This. Yeah, yeah, no. If you just grab somebody's fingers because you're just like over ambitious, <laughs> like no, 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 no. That's not how we're shaking. Uh -oh. No, we're uh -oh. shaking like not. Well, I was in a, I, I was in a hurry. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're in a hurry. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we're shaking hands like men. A handshake is huge, oh, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion, especially in our trade, and especially just, I mean, first meeting anybody ever. Um, handshake for men is huge. I remember first time I met uh, Katie. What if I sit like this? <laughs> it, was <a> dark, <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night, and then we went... St I don't, got, got no I don't know where I was going with the story, <laughs> but I know I look like a mysterious. <laughs> Dude, I wanted to have a podcast years ago, and it was going to be two men in a hot tub. Were you around for that idea? Yeah. I was you told me about this a couple of times. I, hey, regardless, I think we should do it. Uh, you get a hot tub. It's a, it's a fucking business expense. Yes, that's a write-up. And then, and then, and then, and then, I wear a suit with a tie. And I'm in the fucking water, wearing a suit with a jacket and everything. Hey, possibly a cowboy hat. Oh. oh dear Lord, boots, dude! I just keep looking at the picture that I have of you. <laughs> that is such. That thing's too funny. What's up? I said the fucking picture of you on my computer screen that I sent you before that is too funny. Did you see the did you see the link I just sent you? Yeah, your black jack western diamond. Diamond bag so dear lord. You don't want want them. Who the fuck Did has you a imagine size? Being could you imagine having a size 5 boot? <laughs> it goes down to size 5. Jesus Christ, it'll be like, you'd probably make that out of one snake. Dude. I'm at least a ton. My thing is, I don't know what size, how do you know what size boot? Like, do you go in and do you like, try on boots that are similar? I don't understand how you do it. Wait, what are you talking about? Size boot? Wait, like, like, yeah, cowboy boot. Oh, um. If you, if you were to buy a cowboy boot, how do you know what size you wear? Well, generally, a lot of the manufacturers will have, like, comparable reviews. For one, how the fuck are these things $1,200? You can do it. It's real rattlesnake, though. Okay, I can go kill you a rattlesnake here in a minute for less than twelve hundred dollars. If you can, well, then go get me some fucking rattlesnakes, bro. I don't know. I don't know, but goddamn, dude. If I just give you, if I give you, look at that motherfucker, that boy. Right fucking there. <laughs> What's the difference between dude. what if I skin a gardener snake and tell you it's a rattlesnake? How are you gonna know? You can get look. You can get python boots for for like they three three hundred bucks. No, yeah, but check this out. A python's like fucking fifteen feet long. How big's a rattlesnake? Depends on what fucking area you're in. You don't get to be like that big. What six feet maybe? Maybe six eight feet at the most. I wouldn't think. Yeah, an eight foot rattlesnake be a scary bitch. Okay, you made me go on Facebook. Fuck it, they're gonna track my information. They're tracking you? Yeah, they track me. Did you see that Biden fucking uh, decided to call back IRR members? The what? The IRR is an uh, individual ready res uh, reserve. So anybody that had 
just got done with deployment or done with their military service. They are technically still on call for the IRR, and they have all been called back, uh, mm. readily available, and getting pushed into the European theater. Yes, dear. Oh. You look so cute. I know. I just went from like fucking war things to. What about Miss Bunny? What about uh, Miss Bunny's what right about there? All the people that they. What about all the people that they dishonorably discharged for not getting the vaccine? Ooh, not getting the jab. Mm. Walking around all jabbed up and shit. There's a there's a fitness influencer. Um, Joe Aesthetics. He uh, he just died. He just died. <laughs> Look at your hat. That keeps all the the radio waves from getting to you. Oh, now it's Daddy's hat. Go up to mom. Protect the children. Save, yeah. save the children. <laughs> Wear that to bed. Good night. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I make my kids sleep in tinfoil hats too. <laughs> uh, we don't want them to. We don't want them to. I mean, I'm them not them gonna edit that shit out at all. I'm gonna fucking put that right, right in the fucking stream. <laughs> we'll fucking, to bed. My, ch my child wears in full head to bed. Why? Because she's blocking out all the haters. Here I am. I make my kids wear tinfoil hats to bed too. Yep. Got you, man. Got you. Otherwise, it's just fucking mainstream what about, media. What about the armad What about armadillo hats? I wanted to get. I wanted to get a uh, a raccoon pelt. And I was. I was gonna get a raccoon pelt and glue it to my hard hat. Dude, raccoon hats like fucking Davy Crockett. What? Well, I couldn't have Daniel Boone it up at work, bro. Yeah, dude, why not? Why the fuck not, We can dude? identify as a female. Who's going to judge why me? Why not? Who's going to judge me? Is that illegal? No. In fact, that's, that's, that's your, that's your, that's your, your truth. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an organic beaver head? Um, is that an organic <laughs> beaver cut, cut on a plastic cutting table? We uh, we got it rained out today. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's no rain over here. Mm -hmm. It rained for a little bit. Well, I'm, the, I'm, the, but then I'm the steward for the, for the week. What's that? I'm, I'm acting stew this week. Oh. Paul's on vacation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, wait, Captain. Paul, wait, wait. Paul's the steward for Rykoff at the hub? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> I fucking and love I'm, it. Uh, I'm the assistant steward. I love it. <laughs> but, um, I used to be I'm steward all the time, dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I used to be a steward all the they time. They can't fire you if you're the steward. No, that's why I usually always cause so much ruckus because I went exactly by the bylaws. Oh, ruckus. Yeah, they, I still uh, do that. They don't like you when you do your job. I do that, and I do that in a managerial position. And <clears throat> some people are like, "Wait, what?" And I'm like, "It's in your fucking contract, you moron." <laughs> I got a copy of it in my lunch pail, I and it's on your phone if you really want to pull. I it. have a. I literally have a construction calculator in my clipboard. <laughs> I have a little, I have a cobalt clipboard, so it has like a little fucking compartment. So you just click it, and out comes my construction calculator that I bought during the apprenticeship because they said buy a construction calculator. So well, that's the no, literally the same thing that I've had. It's there, and I use it all the time now. And everybody's like, "Wow, you have one of those?" I was like, "Yeah." Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring us back to the jabby jam. So, fitness influencer, Joe Aesthetics, I forget what his last name is, was with Joe Linder. He died uh, a week, two weeks ago. Brain aneurysm. Whoa. I was dreaming. Yeah, 30 years old. Wait, what? 30 years old? 30 years old. He died of a brain aneurysm. 
Brain aneurysms, um, for as far as I know, and uh, as far as my information that has been said from Dr. Pandy of the University of Michigan, the lead neurosurgeon, is a hereditary genetic gen uh, genome. Okay. No. It shouldn't let affect bring, you let me, bring up some, let me bring up some more things. He had taken four jabby jabs. He was peer pressured into it by the travel uh, because like he was traveling and they said he had to have it. So he did. He took Dude, four of them. This? You know, and what else is interesting on it is uh, you know, he was he was a steroid user and he uh, he had a lot of blood work constantly being done. Um, bodybuilder, you know, he was doing he was doing it as healthy as you could, I guess. You know what I mean? I mean, the guy was in phenomenal shape. You can't get like that naturally, anyway. But no. regardless, in 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 uh, no matter in how much liver work, you eat, you can't be like liver king. No. In some of his blood work, though, they they noticed that he had an unusual amount of heavy metals in his blood, like metallic. So he went through, like, like yeah, like Pantera. I just, <laughs> they, found, they found a bunch of Zach Wilde in his blood. To. Okay. <laughs> Cradle of filth. Danny Filth was in there running around. <laughs> um, but no, he. Uh, so he ended up having whatever process that's called. I think it's almost like what they do with dialysis where they filter his blood. Okay. They pumped his blood out and back in and filtered it. And I think they did it several times. Um and then that was like a year that was like a year before his injury so that's kind of crazy right I mean you think about yeah, all these 30, young people yeah, that are having fucking crazy. having problems um my, he's uh, walking around all jabbed up and shit yeah yeah my uh my father-in-law he's been jabbed and boosted and then that, so that's been what it's been two years now right so, well, in the course of two years, right? And uh, now he's got to just, I don't know, he's got to go in for open heart surgery for blockages and heart problems. No oh, shit. You're telling me he's 70, he's 70, um, I think he's 70, 71, I think he's 71. You're telling me in all these fucking yearly visits that they've never found an issue. Yeah, they never found anything. But now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, yeah, now after he's got the jab, block, he got you? something. Yeah, that's crazy, right? It's too crazy for YouTube. Mm. Are we on YouTube right now? Uh, we're Where in, am I? We're, we're, I'm in my bunker. Don't worry about it. We're that. recording at our bunkers, and <laughs> this is just this is just information for the masses from when the world goes into World War III and nuclear warfare happens, people this can understand what happened. This is just for entertainment. Yep. I can go ahead and just do the... Oh, dude, I miss my curly mustache. I can do some, like, curly keys. Like, I, I, need, uh, I need I need wax. The yeah, mutley? I need wax. Is I that the, like... uh, <laughs> if, if we live closer, I would give you mine because I still have some in my drawer. This is why I have the beard, so I can intensely think about things. It's so funny, because when I'm at work, and granted, this is not a very good uh, baseline for it, but when this is all you see of me all day. <laughs> like, you all right, man? Yeah. That's the Muttley. The Muttley laugh. I used, uh, when I did do the curly cue, I did, uh, uh, what was it, Devil's, it was Devil's Wax. It was like a very hard like setting that. wax. Because like my, my grandpa, he was a carpenter, mm -hmm. and that was like kind of their thing back then, so yeah. his whole life, I just know him from having like a fucking straight up curly cue mustache. That's all he had, he had the mustache with the curly cues, man. It was just there. No, no beard. No beard, just curly cute mustache. Yeah. And yeah. it was funny when, like, it was, uh, you know, eventually they break off. Like, curly cues just get too much wax. Oh, yeah. And it yeah. Snaps right off. So he had one curly cue and nothing. And he would just have to shave it, and then he was like this. And then 
He yeah. started the curly cue back. I got a picture of my great grandfather. He he was wearing he was wearing like like you know the white the white shirt that kind of had like the folded sleeves where it was like folded kind of looked like an old penny fucking piano player. He had the little fucking the, like the arm tie that went around it. You know what I'm saying? Oh okay. And he had one of them. He had one of them. And my wife was like, man, he was. Did you plug your microphone? What's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. It's just muffled. Mm. Is, it, is it better now? Yeah, that's better. Is it better now? It's in my fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. No, I'm that's good now. It now, now. Now it's way better. Well, oh, it's so good. It's just more now. I don't know. I just I don't know if it was the connection or not. But um, yeah, it just went to like. How our like first video was where it's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me take this dick yeah, out of my microphone. It sounds like you're just engulfing the microphone going, oh, anyway, about going to that. But no, she was like, man, he looks kind of, your, your great granddad looks kind of hot. <laughs> it was funny how the old conversations go. You're always like, maybe that? I should grow one of them. Oh, yeah. I was like, maybe I should grow the mustache like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I always think like it's so funny much. because like I, I see pictures of my great grand uh, my grandfather and my great grandfather and my mom always looks at him and goes, You look just like grandpa and your great grandpa. I'm like I never met great grandpa, at least not in my mm. conscious ages, but like, I never thought I looked like grandpa. Mm. But apparently I got the I got the height and the stature for it because my grandpa is like six one, six two. I'm just about six. I'm like five eleven, but you know I got. I'm the, like a hobbit. You are the angry midget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all right though. Sure, my whole life, but it's something that won't ever change. It's okay. That's why you have a big truck. Huge truck. Huge truck. That's why I drive a Pontiac <laughs> Vibe. Huge. Huge. That's why I have a Vibe. Tiny, Huge. tiny, tiny car. Big guy pops out of it. Huge truck, tiny guy pops out of it. Just the way the world works. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was just blessed to have a big truck. <laughs> I didn't make the rules. That's how they are. <laughs> I just do what I was born to do. Oh, shit. Stop. What are you doing? I need to stop clicking buttons. How about that? <laughs> Hey, there we go. How about that? That's better. I need to figure out a way to get different backgrounds, dude. I'm going to look half so I'm going to get one going where he's like, looking like they're making nukes or something behind me. <laughs> Here we are in the in the Expo for the Russians, and they are making nuclear war, war weapons now. Oh, what was it? Wait, uh, or, uh, uh, Sasso. Sasso. What was his name? Uh, Soros? No. Lou Sasso. Send this shit to you. What? This is hilarious. This shit was hilarious. This shit came out in fucking Loose uh, Sasso. Loose Sasso. Loose Asshole. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, it's right there. This is, this is it's like your name's Dixie. Dixie Enormous. <laughs>